Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Tom Ford Soleil Neige Naked Pink Palette that just launched for the holidays. I'm also going to be doing some comparisons of some other similar Tom Ford palettes. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. This is quite an impromptu review. I wasn't planning on actually really ever filming this. I bought it with intentions of filming a review, but then time got past me. And at this point in YouTube makeup world, this is no longer a new launch. However, I was watching my friend Tara Lynn's review on this palette, and if you saw that review, it was, um, it was less than positive <laughs> and so I was like, oh my gosh, I need to play with this palette. I ordered it. I spent a lot of money on it. So I figured since Tara Lynn inspired me to play with this, I might as well do it on camera. So here we are with a review. It's going to be a little bit more relaxed than normal since just kind of putting on the camera and sharing my thoughts with you. So this is Tom Ford's holiday palette for 2021 and I have to admit it's a little underwhelming. Normally, the Soleil Neige launches are more exciting. I've loved the last two years launches of the Soleil Neige palettes. Two years ago, I believe he launched three or four quads. I loved all of them. And then last year, he launched First Frost, which was just one, very minimal, but it was a beautiful quad. It ended up being one of my favorite Tom Ford quads. So I figured, eh, might as well keep this tradition going because I'm picky about what I pick up from Tom Ford at full price. I'm a cosmetic company store stan, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically, I believe it's the Estee Lauder brands. They're overstock and discontinued items. Go to that store and you can get them at a great discount, and a lot of times, I don't know what Tom Ford is doing, but a lot of times you can find some newer Tom Ford stuff at that store. That's where I get a lot of my Tom Ford stuff. I like to buy it on sale, but I don't know. I just saw it launch at Beautylish. I got a notification and I was like, I'm gonna order that. I like the Soleil Neige palette. So I got it. Um, <laughs> this is $89. And like I said, the Soleil Neige is his holiday collections every year. And this also launched with one of the lip balms, which is like almost $60. So he might have gotten me to spend $90 on an eyeshadow quad, but he didn't get me with the lip balms yet. I'm, I'm not willing to buy a lip balm for $60. I'm still quite weak. Don't congratulate me for that. I still bought a $90 palette, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not at the lip balm phase yet. Nonetheless, let's get into the review. So like I said, I did order this off of Beautylish. As always, if you aren't shopping at Beautylish, you should start. They have really great fast shipping and their stuff comes packaged wonderfully. Amazing customer service. Definitely one of my favorite spots to pick up makeup. I get very excited when they are the first to get a product because I love purchasing from them. So here is what the box is going to look like. It is all white and then here is the back of the box. Turn the light down a couple notches if you want to pause and take a look here at the ingredients or any of the extra info. The lighting is changing. I'm filming at a, a weird time of day. So the eyeshadow quad itself is going to come in the white slip cover which I'm keeping these now I used to like want to throw these away but since I'm gonna be moving I just dropped the palette <laughs> okay since I'm gonna be moving in a few months I think this is going to help a little bit in transit one will hope but the packaging is the same but it's, it's a little different this year I mean I don't have a problem with the Tom Ford eyeshadow quad packaging it's very elegant and I just love the way that my collection of quads look so I'm happy he launches his quads of all the same size packaging because they just look so uniform and beautiful in my drawer. And I love how the Tom Ford label here at the bottom is always up. So what's different this year is it is silver. In previous years, I believe it's been gold. And this time we have this little TF emblem on the front. Previous years, it's just been plain. So a little nice extra touch, something different. So this palette is made in Italy. And like I said, this is the Soleil Neige collection. 
It's a very small collection of two pieces. Were there more? Were there supposed to be more? Anyways, so let's take a look on the inside. You do have a mirror and here are what our four shades are going to look like. Please note that if you order this, this is not the wet to dry formula that previously his solenage quads have been, which is why I'm surprised. So if you aren't familiar with the wet dry formula, if you look at any of the quads, it's gonna look like this. All four shades are gonna be shiny. They're gonna look kind of like a baked gelée formula versus the regular eyeshadow formula, which which just doesn't look the same. And the wet dry formula also will always have the Tom Ford embossment on the inside. It's by far his most popular formula amongst at least the people on YouTube that I watch and based on the comments that you guys give me, you all love the wet dry formula. And I will say you guys, I love the wet dry formula, but I also really like the regular formula. So I wasn't mad that this was the regular formula, if you will. We'll just see how, um, how it works. I, I, I don't know. Let's see. And by the way, this concealer, I'm wearing the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. It's not doing me favors. So we need the eyeshadow to fix that. So let me get these annoying things out of here, but I can never actually throw these away. I don't have the willpower to throw them away because you never know when you're gonna need them. Here are the four shades. So let's get, this shade feels very smooth. Okay. So we have that shimmery shade, which is less than exciting. And then we have kind of like a bone colored skin tone matte shade, maybe slightly satin. The Charlotte Tilbury kind of pop style formula. That looks great. Then this shade looks satin. Yeah. Beautiful. It's a little underwhelming, huh? <laughs> Now, I will say with Tom Ford quads, I usually am not too excited by the looks of them or the swatches of them, but when I apply them is when I really like them, so I'm not disappointed yet. But his eyeshadows do normally swatch better than this, I will say that, so. I pressed just as hard as I normally do with eyeshadows. I mean, I don't swatch too hard to swatch. Remember, folks, I paid $90 for this. Okay, let's see how they look on the eyes though. I'm not gonna judge too soon, but the swatches defs seemed quite soft. So I'm using the hourglass concealer that I was just saying negative things about because it doesn't look good on my under eyes. But we're gonna use that as our eyeshadow base because it's the closest thing to me. So we'll start off with this shade right here. It is powdery. I don't know if you can see that, but I am getting some kick up. Um, so for me and my skin tone, this is about a shade darker. So for me, this is going to work as a subtle crease color. I know on Tara who has medium skin and she has a very olive undertone. This was kind of like nothing on her. I personally like shades that are my exact skin tone. Um, I love the canvas that they create. Anyways, if you have like a light medium skin tone like myself, this gives a nice shadow. I like that, I think that looks good. Let me put this on my lower lash line so I can blend out this crusty dusty concealer. You know, I've tried to make this hourglass concealer work and I just can't get it to work. And so many people love it. I don't know what I'm missing. So I don't necessarily know that this is meant to be a deepening shade, but I'm gonna use the same brush. And I'm really packing it on here. I mean, this is more of like a highlighty shade. I guess it wouldn't really be for depth. So I'm just gonna put it in the outer half of my lid. I will say, normally with Tom Ford palettes, I'm impressed with how they apply and I'm impressed with the overall look. And Tara was right. This palette's kind of useless. It's like not even giving me something. And I wanted to do this review because I like his normal eyeshadow formula, but this would be much more valuable in the wet dry formula because they have more intensity and they have more glow. So there's a bigger purpose on the eyelid. And I'm not even talking about the lack of depth, which there is a huge lack of depth. But with the wet dry formula, I feel like I don't even need depth with those shadows because the glow is so pretty. This really is giving me nothing. So that's with a lot of packing on of this shade. Let me use this shade and I'm using my fingers. <laughs> Hear me out. Like you could get a pretty soft look with this palette. Very, very soft with this in the crease and this all over the lid. But I could not exist 
as a beauty reviewer and live with myself if I told you that this was worth $90. <laughs> okay, let's use the pop shade. This is gonna make it a little bit better because I do like his glimmery celestial style formula. See, this is going to aid the look for sure. Look how pretty that is. So this shade is right on par with his regular eyeshadows and with his other palettes that he has this formula in. This is the only shade, to be honest, that I really like in this palette. And it's doing 99% of the work in this palette. So essentially, when you buy this palette, you have some background shades, but this is gonna be the only shade that really works well. Okay, we're gonna go into this shade again really dig in there. I just want to blend it along my lower lash line. And I know there is a market for very soft eyeshadows. Don't get me wrong, I've used many beautiful soft eyeshadows. This is not a very beautiful soft eyeshadow formula, in my opinion. It's given me nothing. This may arguably go down as one of the worst Tom Ford quads I've ever used. And this is the one that I paid full price on. I was watching Tara's review, and it was quite a negative review. And I thought, mm, I feel like I could make it work. I feel like I could make a pretty look. And I normally like his quads. I really, really do. Even if what meets the eye doesn't attract me at first, I normally like it on the eye. Tara was right. This palette, like, this palette sucks. There's no way you can look at this palette and tell me this is worth $90. There's no way. I mean, the glow and the glimmer is gonna be pretty. Don't get me wrong. The look's not ugly. But there's no way for the look to be ugly because you can barely see it. Okay, I'm gonna put on some lashes and I'm gonna do some comparisons to some other palettes for you guys. I just put on mascara. I didn't do anything fancy because this palette is just terrible. If this glitter shade wasn't in this palette, you would quite honestly be throwing $89 in the trash. <laughs> I'm just looking at myself and literally the only thing I can see in the monitor on my eyes is the glitter shadow. All the other three shades that you saw me pack on with my finger and dig and layer have disappeared. Okay, so let me show you some quads that I thought potentially could be comparable. But all of these quads that I'm showing you are... 20 times better. So the first one that I pulled was Sula Sable and this one isn't one of my favorites but I think it's really wearable and work friendly so I still enjoy this palette and reach for it from time to time because it's just super wearable soft pretty rose tones. No dupes really. Maybe this shade and the pop shade are similar but Sousa Sabo, I mean you can actually see the shadows showing up so they're not similar but this one is a lot better. I got a request to do this one so this is from the Soleil Neige collection two years ago. This is Soleil Diva and yeah they're kind of in that similar tone in that it's very monochromatic and they don't have too much depth but the, <laughs> the swatch Swatches really are different and this is what I mean like the lighter Tom Ford fat palettes still look beautiful on the eyelid and this shade swatch with so much depth and this is the wet dry formula and this just makes naked pink look kind of pathetic and by the way something that I didn't mention it's not a very pink palette to be honest the colors lean a little bit more peach it's naked but it's not very pink in my opinion. Anyways, let's compare it to last year's Soleil palette, which is First Frost. And this palette is phenomenal. It might not look like too much in the pan, but on the eyes, it's breathtakingly beautiful. Obviously, the tones are very different. Do you, did you see, by the way, how, I'm sorry, this review's all over the place, but did you see how much more like warm and peachy this looked? And this is called a pink palette. But here's the swatch differences incomparable, truly. <laughs> I thought maybe De La Creme would be worth swatching. Now knowing what Naked Pink swatch is like, it really wasn't worth it, but here is what they would look like. I was feeling this formula and really testing it out because it is the normal eyeshadow formula, just like the Naked Pink. And this shade didn't give me too much. This actually has a very similar press to the Naked Rose, but the mattes, like they show up, they have pigment. It's still a beautiful palette. Okay, and then last one, I picked out the 
is the Shade and Illuminate in Rose Cashmere. And I just want to swatch the quad. But you can see these look kind of similar. It's the Wet Dry Formula. See, to me, this kind of looks like what Naked Pink was trying to do and trying to be, but a little bit softer and playing with a little bit more different textures. Yeah, I mean, there really isn't a quad in the Tom Ford line that I own that's similar to this Naked Pink because there's nothing as bad as this. I'm, I mean, that's all I really have for this review. Uh, if you couldn't guess, I didn't recommend this one and I'm disappointed because I paid full price for it and I don't do that very often. So that's why I'm here though. I spend money so you don't have to. Make sure you guys like this video and comment down below. Engage with this video so I can get my money back on this, okay? This review is gonna pay for this. If you are interested in Tom Ford quads, I do love so many of his quads. So... <laughs> Don't go just off of this review. I think he has some beautiful products in this line. I just don't know how this got approved. I'm very, very confused. Ooh, the box is silver on the inside. I like that. Not the only thing that I like. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it stopped you from buying this palette if you were thinking about buying it. And for those of you who did and bought through my original link when I first saw that this launched, I'm very sorry. I really hope you like it better than I did and get some use out of it. So thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and watching this video and liking it and all of that good stuff and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys have a good one.